Okay, we've finished our heel flap. We have our 28 rows over our 28 stitches, and we purled across the last one. So we're in the knitting position. The knitting is facing us once again, and we're going to turn the heel. Now, everybody, when they talk about the sock, say the turning of the heel is the dread point. Well, it's not. It's just a matter of counting and keeping up with your rows. So this is what you're going to do. According to our pattern, we need to get to the center of our 28 stitches. So we're going to slip a stitch and knit 15. All right, we're going to slip the first stitch and we're going to knit 15. Two, three, four, five. Never hurts to count out loud. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now we'll knit two together, right here, and one more, and now we'll turn our needles in our hand. We literally go from the knit side to the purl side. And now we're going to, following the pattern, slip one as to purl, and purl five stitches. Now we're going to purl two together. Sometimes it's a little hard to get into. Use your thumb below to pull it down. There we go. Purling two together. Slipping them off. And then purling one more. Now we're going to turn. Turning it right back to the knit side. Picking up your yarn. We're going to slip the next stitch. And we're going to knit six. Now when you knit the sixth one, if you open your hand, you'll see that the next two stitches that are knitted, that should be knitted together, have a separation between them. So you're going to knit those two together. So if you lose count, you know you knit to your separation where you knit your stitches together. And you always knit one more to be left behind. And once again, we turn our needles. So the next one is going to be, our pattern is emerging. We're on the purl side. We're going to slip one. And let's see, we, we knitted six, so we'll be purling seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Open your hands. There it is. So these two get purled together. Okay, give them a little tug. Purl one more and turn it. And you'll see that it's starting to do a pucker, which is the center of your heel. So now from now on, what you're going to be doing is slipping the first stitch and you'll be appropriately for the side, knitting or purling to your division and it should be an increased stitch each time. So as we knit over, we're going to get eight this time. And there it is, knitting two together. Give it a little tug and knit the last one and turn it. So we're on the purl side and you continue this until you have knitted and purled all the way across, whoops, excuse me, slide, there we go, and then purl, all the way across all the stitches which makes the turning of the heel. So this will take me a few minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and then we'll be right back.
here we go. We finished the heel now, the turning of the heel. And this is what makes the sock go from the top to the bottom. And now it's gonna go from the heel to the toe. So we've turned it. So we're gonna purl one more row so that we're on the knitting side and we're gonna start the gusset. <laughs> 